Okay guys, welcome to the training module. So in this module, what we're gonna do is cover five basic jump start exercises. There, there are the five most basic movements. Um, obviously, we're in a gym, there's a ton of different equipment in here, but the purpose of this module is to just get you moving again, get you feeling better, get the muscles moving, get the blood flowing. Um, and once you feel like you have a grasp on these five movements, uh, or you're able to do multiple sets of 10, 10 repetitions, then uh, look down at the bottom of this module and I will have a, um, you know, a step up program for you guys. So that said, the five jump start exercises, the five jump start movements are a hip hinge, a squat, an upper body pull, an upper body push, and then a core exercise. We're going to keep it super basic just for the sake of keeping it simple and allowing this to, to be used by anyone no matter what their fitness level, okay? So the first exercise is a hip hinge. The most basic hip hinge exercise is the deadlift. That's when you pick weight up off the floor. Obviously, you see people do this with the bar, um, but the key here is, is your form. So you wanna make sure that you stand over the weight. Well, I'm gonna show you with the kettlebell and the dumbbell. We're gonna do both, both pieces of equipment, just in case you do not have access to a dumbbell. Uh, I'm sorry, access to a kettlebell. Most gyms have dumbbells. Most gyms nowadays have kettlebells as well. So you're gonna stand over the weight, so the, the kettlebell is in between your shoelaces, right? In between the arches of your feet. Okay, chest is up nice and tall. You're gonna drop the hips back. Keep the chest up, keep the chin tucked in, grab the handle, push through the floor. And once the, the weight approaches about knee level, you drive the hips straight ahead forward and squeeze your butt, squeeze your glutes. All right, hips back, chest up, touch, drive. Touch, drive. One thing you don't wanna do is round the shoulders, around the back. Okay, make sure the shoulder blades are pulled, pulled together, chest is up, pushing the chest out, nice and tall. Okay, dumbbell, very similar. You just stand the dumbbell up on its end. Same movement, just like that. Touch, drive. And just snapping the hips forward, squeezing the glutes at the top, very basic. The next exercise is the squat. Most people know this one. Again, you can hold the dumbbell or a kettlebell up if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. Otherwise, start with the basic body weight squat, okay? Feet are a little wider than the shoulder width. Point the toes out just a little bit, just a hair, okay? And your knees should drive outwards, okay? You don't want to be straight with your toes. If you point the toes out a little bit, it allows you to open up the knees as you squat. So you sit your hips back. Chest up nice and tall, try and get as deep as you can, keep the heels on the floor and push through the floor. You're driving through the heels when you squat, okay? You don't want to be up on your toes, you don't want the, the knees to drive forward. Hips go back, chest is up, and push through the floor. We do a set of 10 for these, very basic, very easy. Upper body pull, a couple different ways you can do this. Now, if you are already in somewhat of good shape, you can opt for the pull up, okay? Pull up, most people know the pull up exercise. These are one of the tougher upper body pulling exercises. So if you can't do it, it's not that big of a deal. You can work up to it. I'm gonna give you another option as well. So the pull up, hands a little wider than your shoulders. Start from the bottom and pull yourself up over the bar. If you cannot do a pull up, a good option is a set of suspension straps. You can get these relatively inexpensive. I will link them up for you so you can get, a, get your own pair. Um, they're a great travel tool. I used to take these when I used to travel for my old job. I would take them with me along with a set of bands and it allowed me to work out in my hotel room. So if you don't have access to a pull up bar or you can't do pull ups, and shoot for the suspension straps. Start with your hands pulled into your chest, walk the feet forward, extend the arms, pull yourself up, squeezing the upper back. You don't want to fly through the reps, you want to make sure you feel them working the muscles. The fourth exercise is the upper body push. The push up is the most basic upper body push exercise there is. Everybody knows how to do the push-up. Just demonstrate for you. OK. 
Okay. So the key to the push-up is to not keep the hands so wide, all right? What you want to do is keep the hands a little wider than shoulder width. You can even point the fingers out a little bit. And the key to the push-up is keeping the elbows tucked in. You don't want to keep them so close to your body like this, but you also don't want to flare it out too far, because then it's going to hurt your shoulders. So keep the elbows tucked in slightly. Okay, nice and straight in your abs and in your core. Down and up. See how my elbows are tracking towards my body, right? Show you from the front. My elbows are not way out here, all right? Keep them tracking towards your body. Very simple, very easy. If you cannot do them on your toes, which some people can't, some guys can't, which is okay. Um, but at least you're starting from some point and you're working to get better at them. <clears throat> what you can do is do them on your knees. But the key to doing them on your knees is to make sure your hips are not up towards the ceiling. Okay, drop your hips down so that you're straight from your shoulders to your knees. All right, my body's straight from my shoulders to my knees. And now I can execute the push-up like I should. You don't want to do this. Okay, hips down, shoulders to knees nice and straight, and you do your push-up. The last exercise is for your core. Very basic, very simple. It's the plank. Most people know how to do planks. I would opt for the plank over the crunch because the plank is just going to work your entire core. Crunches just kind of work the abs, and sometimes they give people a little bit of lower back pain. So we're going to stay away from those for right now. Maybe you can work up to them in the future, but just focus on the plank because the plank is going to tighten the shoulders, the legs, the glutes, the hips, the abs, keep everything nice and tight. So do your plank. It's basically a push-up position on the elbows, okay? So you start on your elbows, Feet together, nice and straight in the hips. Drive the feet straight back. You don't want to be up on your toes like this. Drive the heels back. Keep the abs nice and tight. Try and hold it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. The longer the better. You're going to see that when you get to a certain point, your body's going to start to shake, which is okay. And that's the plan. So deadlifts, squats, pull-ups or rows. Suspension rows, push-ups, planks. Start with those five jump start exercises and I promise you, you'll be moving up and doing more advanced techniques and more advanced exercises in the future. If you want specific workouts that involve specific pieces of equipment, check out the link down below. All right, guys, um, that's all I got. We'll see you in the next module.